think to me, Latinx, it was always like, it doesn't offend me, y que me cuesta usarlo. No me cuesta nada, so let me be inclusive. Right. That's, that's what we're going towards, right? I think what I'm realizing now is there's not a general consensus, right. and that's what we need to figure right. that out. All right, guys, welcome to the zoo. I got my peeps over here, <laughs> Nikki P and AKL. I'm Umberto G. Is that how we're going? <laughs> yeah, I, guess I like so. that. Okay, good. Yeah. So we, we're gonna have a good big deal today. It's on the word Latine, and that's today's big, big deal. deal. Okay, so first that was Latinx, and now there's the word Latine. Latine. Okay, uh, so uh, do you want to explain a little bit of the background? I think there's, there's two different uh, backgrounds, so you give one and I'll give the other, and then we'll get into Yeah, so I have a story to go with it, because I actually didn't hear about this word until this past weekend. I thought it was Latine. It's Latine. I guess so, yeah. So I was with my friends, um, and they were like, oh, yeah, there's this new term. I mean, it was over shots, too, so I'm not going to lie. I had to call my friend up this morning. and be like, what was that conversation we had, <laughs> like, before the night went down? Shots of espresso? Uh, no, sh shots, shots okay. of tequila, baby. Okay. Um, but um, so they were telling me that la Latine is kind of like Latin America's version of Latinx because their sentiment that Latinx is being imposed onto Latin America by the right. United States. Well, so, so is Latin, see, th there's a little miss what you just said. It's, again, it's the American community, the, La right. the American Latino community, mm -hmm. the, the, the woke segment among them, who are again imposing a second term no, because but what they was it born? Because it's saying um, Argentina, Chile, because they already use they it with like they were the ones that created. They already use it with like todes, nosotros. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I you guess. know, so they use e. E is just neutral. It's not like like it's not supposed to be like the X is supposed to be like it, um, the intersectionalities, right? E is just kind of neutral in the language between the A and the O. Okay. What What's the process of like how something actually becomes a word? That's like, how question. do we go from <laughs> social media chatter to like officially getting like added to the dictionary? And why? I, I don't understand how Bootylicious got added yeah. so quickly. <laughs> Bootylicious is it in there? Yeah, Bootylicious is officially a word I did in the it. dictionary. You know, I actually have that app on my phone, Word of the Day, and there'll be some words where I'm like, how is this even like binge word, like something like because that? Because Latinx has, has been used the last couple of years. So, it, like, how does it officially get replaced? Do you stop mm -hmm. saying well, it? Well, here's the thing. A a and again, like, a, a lot of these words are like start off in a process of intent. Like, people just get entangled in a certain amount of logic. Latinx was, uh, I've explained this a couple of times, we used to say back in the day when I was a kid, either Latin or Hispanic, right? And Hispanic is still around. Hispanic has a whole colonial historical baggage that people don't like to get into, although, you know, it's a, it, it is a gender neutral word. And we used to say Latin for Latin American. You still hear Latin billboard, Latin food. There's a Latin male wanted in such and such. But then in the 90s, to have more Latino pride, we started using Latino Latina, but those are Spanish words. Now, because we started using Latinos so much, we realized it was gender, it was excluding Latinas, you know, when we would say all are Latinos. So some people started saying, well, let's use Latinx. For one thing, it's gender neutral. And another thing, you can say that the X intersectional, mm -hmm. that symbology they added on, but mainly they wanted a gender neutral word. Mm -hmm. The thing is that they're talking about two Spanish words, Latino, Latina, and Latinx is, X is not a, a, a right. letter that people in Latin America and Spanish-speaking countries pronounce. So they were like, wait a minute, well, you're imposing this word on us. So Latina does make more sense because you can say, um, yeah. it, th there are words in Spanish that are neutral with A and the N. So it is, but in the terms of, in what we're using in the United States, I would just like to reconsider just going back to Latin, uh, you know? <laughs> I think this is where like people say like, make sure you know your history because it seems like we're kind of just going, going, not realizing what was in the past. Like for you to say that before it was just Latin and yeah. that was, that was good. I, to me, I feel like that's representative enough, I, I right? I slip it in every once in a while. Like when I'm writing articles, like I use a bunch, I'll use Latino, sometimes I'll slip in a Latin. <laughs> and by the way, sometimes I use Latinx. Yeah, yeah. You know, Do you get offended by promotion? Latinx? I'm not offended by it I, because I, use I still it. use it. Yeah. I use it here and there. I'm not offended by it. I'm just like, it's just an added layer of I think to me, Latinx, it was always like, it doesn't offend me, y que me cuesta usarlo. No me cuesta nada, so let me be inclusive. Right. That's, that's what we're going towards, right? I think what I'm realizing now is there's not a general consensus, right. and that's what we need to figure right. that out, to your point. Yeah. Right. Who, who, who creates this? Who said this is what we're using now, you know? Right. Um, I think it was just public sentiment that kind of drove mm -hmm. it, maybe with social media, and that it popularized. Well, you know? I mean, it, sh it shows, it shows the, some of the issues with the Spanish language is really what it is, and because uh, as... Um, American Latinos, we incorporate some of the Spanish language. We then started kind of imposing our English, you know, gender neutral ways onto the Spanish language, hoping that they would kind of like, you know, our evolve their ways. language, but they're like, you know. So Latina does make sense. I will give it that. Yeah. And it does encompass both 
the genders and the days. Was well, gender neutral? Yeah, so that's so what they're saying. So there's no gender, it just applies to they. Because the thing yeah. is in Spanish, it's Latino and Latina, but if you're talking about a group, it's Latino. So the, 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 the masculine takes on the group, even if there's women involved, and I get that. So they wanted a gender neutral word to, to talk about all of us, but we had that in English. We had a couple. Right. So, you know. Uh, I thought it was Latin. When Latinx first came out, I thought it was Latinx. That's what Lat I thought it was too. And, and it sounds choppy with the X. Yeah. Well, it does kind of, once you say Latinx, it does kind of roll off the tongue once you get used to it. I don't well, mind the way it looks in print. That is, that is such a point though, Latinx. For us to even say X is very Americanized, right? Yeah, yes. Because I'm thinking of the word like Xochitl that starts with the letter X right. and that's, that's a, a Latino name. You don't say X in Spanish. No, you, so what, it's kind of like an S sound, right? Latinx? Like, so, yeah, yeah, so wow, I just realized that. Interesting, I mean, <laughs> yeah. What's really, it's, it's just, it's so interesting to me like how, you know, I, th I think the does need to be a consensus mm. and everybody needs to get on the same page about the same words because it seems like in different areas certain people are okay with this word over this one exactly and I think there's a division then between like us here in the United States and the rest of Latin well there's America. a division between the people in the United States listen That's there's true. a lot of people <laughs> there's, th th there's, there's a lot of uh, Latinas uh, in the United States who don't agree on using Latina, Latinx, Latin, or Hispanic. Right. You know, so I, I, I don't think we're ever gonna, listen, I think that we, we've, we've gotten to a place in history where there will never be a consensus on anything. You think so? On anything. There's just too many people in the world and too many opinions. Which is counterintuitive because now we have more methods of communication, right? And, but, For us to like. Right. You would no, think that people would be more centralized, but no, right. even more. Right. I'm sorry. The more communication yeah. and the more people that you include in the conversation, the more diverse. So you know what? That's I'm true. not offended by anybody using anything. If someone uses Latinx, fine. Right. Look I at might me in the it. eyes when you Dep talk to me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.